Hello Lola's, welcome back to my channel guys. Guess what? I decided to put all of my babies in the crib. Um, all of the babies that I have in this crib was painted by me. Um, and I only have two other three, I only have a couple other reborns that's not painted by me in my collection, but this is my main collection right here, is the babies that are painted by me. Um, I will soon or later add some other babies that's not painted by me, um, but it's just been kind of hard to find the babies that I'm looking for because I'm looking for specific sculpts and specific looks and <laughs> so I'm being very specific but anyway I thought I would show you guys all the babies so they're kind of crammed in here I'm gonna move them out as I go um well I'm gonna move Phoenix out because he's like taking up the whole crib you see so as you can see there's Maggie and Kingsley and all of them are kind of crammed in so really quickly I'm going to go over um I'm just going to show Phoenix and then I'm going to go move him so we can have more space all right so oh I thought he had a booger in his nose um those of you that may, I don't know what you guys can see those of you that may not know Phoenix, look, this is Phoenix, okay? He's my toddler, he's the lamb sculpt by Bonnie Brown. He has little bottom teeth. Say, I am a cruelty. He is like a forever baby for me. He was painted by me. Look at that little hands here. He is, he fits. I put my, my limb on a bigger body, so therefore he's a little taller and longer than some the original sculpt, maybe was intended to be those are his little feet I don't know I know I'm locking the light but anyway so that's Phoenix oh he is my only toddler true toddler um I think he's about with his body on he probably about 32 inches oh <sighs> yeah 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 all right now we cracking see he was blocking all the sunlight <laughs> Well, not sunlight, but like, all right. So, I don't know which end you want to start from, but I'm just going to take a little quick little pan. And, all right. So, I kind of tried to line them up by skin tone, <laughs> which is kind of weird because I think maybe them two might need to be swapped. I don't know. Um, Talking about uh these two. I don't know if they're... I almost want to say Lily Grace is lighter than, um, let me see if the camera will focus. Okay, maybe. I want to say Lily Grace is lighter than, um, Major, but I don't know. We're going to leave them like they are. So over here, So over here this is oh my gosh the focus is just awful why is it not focusing on her right it's like there is blurring them out I don't know anyway so we have Aspen um Evie which I call Brie Piper so let me let me let me start so we're gonna start from here so this is Aspen Evie which is Brie Piper, Lily Grace, Major, Major, Abby, and Maggie. And, oh, we forgot, Kingsley is here. Okay. All right. So, let's start with Kingsley. Kingsley. All right. Let's see. Oh, y'all can see my little junk over there. All right. Hang on. Let's see if we can get Kingsley. He's I don't like he uncomfortable. Let me see if I can maybe lay him down a little bit so you guys can see him. Move your little feet out the way. I don't know. Let me show you. It's so it's so hard to do this. I don't know how people have 
this many babies in one bed. Okay, so Kingsley, that's his little feet. I just love the realistic color that turned out on his feet coloring and stuff. But he is, um, I know a lot of people don't care about that type stuff, but he is the Gabrielle Asleep by um, Claire Teller. And he is painted by me. And I rooted his eyelashes, but that's it. He's baldy for right now. Um, eventually he will get hair like the rest of them. So I'm going to move him back over here. And this, you know what? I'm going to take him out. So, yeah. Come on, Puka. He's so cuddly, too. That's the one thing about him. He's weighted super cuddly. And I don't know. I don't know if I did a good job on showing him. But maybe once I move some other babies, I can get him in a different spot. Um, all right, this, I'm not doing good at this, am I? I know. Um, you guys know Aspen. Aspen is a newborn size. He is the prototype by Claire Teller, painted by me. Then I have Evie, which is by Laura Lee Eagles, painted by me. I am <laughs> been rooting her for the last two years, seem like, but, uh, it's never just seemed like it's never going to happen. Um, she may even get sent out or sent off before she even get finished i don't think she's gonna be a keeper in my collection but um she's here um i just was trying my hardest to finish her hair but it's just not working out you guys know piper piper is the half pint by marita winners and she is 15 inches so she's more like what some people may call micro preemie um yeah so she's painted and rooted by me, sparsely, <laughs> burly, <laughs> as some of y'all might say. And then y'all know Lily Grace. So Lily Grace is the, um, oh my gosh. Lily Grace, what are you? What are you? What are you? She's by Audrey Stoetti. Oh my gosh, I can't even remember her scope. Is that crazy or what? What's her scope name? Oh my gosh. How can I forget her scope name? Um, 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 um. Oof, I got another one over here. But she is about 16 inches. Oh my goodness. I gotta get the scope, the blank scope too. Oh, I, don't, I think I took the um thing out. Oh my gosh. I took the COA out. Crap. I don't know. Crap. I can't remember. How could I forget her scope name? But anyway, let me show you guys. Uh, I can't see what you guys see. I know I'm. I know I'm blocking the light, but so this is her scope originally. So that's how it starts out. For those that don't know, that's how the vinyl starts out when you look at these babies this is like this is the color that they start out most of them very neutral color but she's an audrey story baby um oh my gosh i can't i'm so mad that i can't <laughs> that is crazy um anyway and then there's major and major is sam by gutterin lugler um and he is I, don't know, I think he's about 19 inches or 18 inches something like that he's supposed to be but he's he's a little one so he's one of my favorites he's a keeper um and then there is abby i don't know if you guys can see her let me make sure you guys can oh yeah there's abby and it's like uber light on the end too much light all right so there's abby and Abby is the um, Abby prototype by Claire Teller, painted by me. And then we have Maggie, which is Maggie by Natalie Blick. Whoa, 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 painted by me. Say hello, everybody. 
And Maggie is also waiting for hair. Um, and she's a fairly big baby. She's 23 inches. Um, I just, I think she's a really good size. Um, so I'm really, I really love her size. Hang on. Oh my gosh. Oh, I see. What the heck? I don't know what happened here. Oh, I see what happened. I'm sorry, guys. I messed around and, and messed with the lighting. So, anyway, let's look again. So, there's Maggie by Natalie Blake. This is her. I love this fist. Um, so, that's Maggie. That's Abby over here. So it's always nice when you see the babies like next to other babies because you can kind of see their skin tone a little bit better. So like you see these two and like I said, I think he should have been over there and she should have been over there because I think she's Lily is lighter than him. And then you have these babies over here on the end. So I, I tried to go light from light to uh, the deeper skin tones. Um, but yeah, so let me see. I'm going to swap them. Their skin tones, like, it's funny because they, they all like have, sometimes they have similar undertones, which kind of give them, it's kind of a little, throws you off and like who coloring, um, is what, um, I never paint their bottom of their feet the same way either feet not feet um so they all let's see like you want to hold our feet fine that's fine you can hold it up for me she's like let me show her feet so yeah so they all have different i use different colors for their undertones different colors for their feet just depending on the skin tone of the baby, I always feel like they're the uh, it changes, you know, all that stuff. So it's a lot goes into the thought process of painting these babies. But this is my personal collection, guys. So the only baby here that probably will get sold is Evie. Either she's gonna get sold or given away to a family member, but she is definitely probably not gonna stay so um i'm gonna go ahead and remove her out of this view so you guys can see a and i love her i really love, especially the way that she feel and the weight of her and her coloring i love her i think she's beautiful but i don't have any emotions about her other than when i pick her up i feel like i'm holding a baby um beyond that there's nothing there so because there's nothing there i don't i don't think that she will stay that's just my humble opinion knowing my track record i just don't think so um now let me see oh she's gone So, like, I just wanted to show, like, Maggie, more of Maggie's skin tone. Because I, 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 I like to play around with coloring. And I was really trying to practice a certain skin tone. Oh, my God, I can't get her zipper undone. Jesus. I am so, ugh. Gosh, I tell you guys, sometimes I feel like I'm just really slow. But, <laughs> um, yeah, so I was really trying to get a specific um, skin tone when I was going with her. Because I knew I was getting the prototype to paint. And so I was trying to make sure I get the skin tone good before I did... Uh, before I did uh, Cody. 
so I tried some different coloring with her, but I'm just, I just want to show you guys. I'm trying to get her. Wait, wait, look, can you look up at the camera? Yes, you can. Yeah, I thought about letting her go, but she's a true limited baby. And um, because I ordered the Benjamin, I would love to have the sibling. So I'm also looking for, guys, I'm putting this out here. I'm looking for a Marianne by Natalie Blake blank. I don't want to pay $500 for it, but um, I will pay a little bit more than what um, she cost. But if I can find one. But if you can see, their skin tone is similar. But these two, but not the same. And I just realized that they're even as close as they are. But not the same. So. She's, a, she's, she's more light, if that makes sense. She's lighter. So, yeah, I I like to play around. That's something I love to do. I'm going to get her dressed anyway, so I'm going to take her out of this. Um, she did get to, and like I was saying, sometimes I do things, and I wasn't 100% in love with her creasing. Um, another reason why I don't think I would sell her. Um, and I have sold, not that I haven't sold babies that didn't have perfect creasing. Um but I just think it'll to me I just rather not at this stage I'd rather keep her for myself because um she's just worth more to me than to be sold so she's a good size so um not too crazy about the straight legs um but I'm getting used to them um, you just have to dress her a certain way. A lot of people make her into a big toddler. Um, I don't. I don't see her as a big toddler. Actually, she's just a baby. See, I'm still a baby. Uh, but yeah, that's 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 uh, how it goes. Let's see if we get some little light, more light on her. Now you can see. All right, so those are my babies. Um, and those are all of my babies and that's it um in my silicone collection right now currently i only have three full body silicone babies that's painted and which only one is rooted at the moment um you guys know about two of them the other one i will not show no time soon <laughs> that's all i'm gonna say on that <laughs> but i have a um um, a mix even with my silicone babies I have um, two uh, cinnamon pecan tan whatever you want to call it butter pecan <laughs> um, uh, black babies if you want to call it that even though they don't have DNA um, or and then I have one uh, light bright and so She's my vanilla bean. So I have that. So I have three um, silicone babies. And right now, um, I am going to. Um, I will have more once I get to paint them, but it'll be a while. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, although it was all over the place and crazy. Um, let me know if you would like to see more or would you like to see them all in just diapers um because i thought about doing that and um that would be probably cool maybe i'll i'll strip them down when it's time for them to all get changed again in just diapers so you guys can see what they look like because i always feel like a lot of times we get so caught up in the clothes and the hair and you know all these things um and hair is important i will say that it is important i won't i won't lie um but it does make a difference in the baby but for the most part you know we get so caught up in 
that stuff more than the actual art of the doll, the painting, which is the most important to me, the sculpting and the painting, um, and then the hair. I can do a bald baby, a very nicely paint, painted baby, bald, before I can do a very nicely rooted baby, bad paint, or a very nicely painted baby, bad sculpt. I just, that's just me, that's the order that it goes, is sculpting first, painting, then hair. Then we can always dress the babies. That's not even in the factor. So that's why if the box opening come with a piece of bubble gum and that's it, the only reason I would be mad about the bubble gum, I would have been afraid that it could have got stuck on my doll. But other than that, the baby could come stark naked. Just make sure it's, you know, protected when it travel and I would be good. <laughs> so that's me. But anyway, this is a long video. See you guys later. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up on your way out and share this video. Thanks.